Boss Rex, what are your recommended investment strategies during a pandemic? I would really suggest that people stay the course. Stay the course. Don't make all of these unnecessary switches. Kung naka-equity ka, bumaba na, saka ka pa magsuswitch. Parang nung nahuhulog kasama ka, nung aakyat, di ka nakasali. Di ba? So, if it's new funds, yes, medyo risk averse siya, banpan ka muna, money market ka muna. Then fine, saka na natin siya ilipat when the tide changes. But if it's already old money, that's already invested, and it's losing because of what's happened, don't switch today. Because if you switch today and the market recovers, wala ka inaw. Sabi ng iba, eh paano sir, pag tuloy-tuloy bumaba? Ang tanong ko ganito eh, parang, is it now the time to sell or the time to buy? If it's the time to sell, then I will still sell it hoping that I can buy it back later. But how far is that low? How far is that level? The other is just to keep it there because if I'm not going to sell it anyway, then just means I can have the holding power. Kasi yung usapan ganito eh, you invested for a purpose eh. Was it retirement? Was it for a child's education? Ang tanong dito lagi, all of a sudden dahil nagka-pandemic, magre-retire ka na. Hindi naman, di ba? So in fact, it might be a good chance for you to what we call double down. Ang, ang gusto kong sabihin lagi, history repeats itself. People seldom learn. History repeats itself endlessly for people who are unwilling to learn from the lessons of the past. Alam nyo, honestly, I mean, I've been investing for the longest time. The most money I made are in times like this. This is a heyday for me. And quite frankly, eh, sinabi ko sa Ramp Varian, di ba? Nung umakit naman yung market, alam naman nila, nagtatap slice ako eh. Nagbebenta ako ng pakunti-kunti. Why can't I do that when Ali is 53, 52? Pakunti-kunti, benta ka, di ba? Creating cash so that at a time like this, you can have deployment. You can now do great asset allocation. Kasi hindi natin mapigil. Some people really want to invest. Some people really want to position. So again, ulitin ko, hindi na ito strategic investing. Tactical investing na to. If you're going to be looking at this potential winners and losers, makikita nyo nga dun sa headline, very important, short term. Short term. Okay? Kasi baka akala nyo you want to make a long term positioning here in the short term ito. What it tells you is this, ang winners nandun sa right side, ang losers nasa left side. So, if you're going to be investing directly in stocks, Think about the stocks that are going to be on the green side. Ano yung mga yan ngayon? Di ba? And I think you all know, yung mga nasa tech, yung mga telco, in the last two years, telcos were being sold down. Why? Kasi magkakaroon daw ng third telco. You think after the ECQ, makakapag-launch pa yung bagong telco? Or it will also have to wait another year or two? That will give both Globe and PLDT the heyday to earn from all the data we are consuming in this ECQ and beyond. So sila yung makikinabang, di ba? Food processing, di ba? Retail of the necessities. So ano yung mga yan? URC, pure gold. Nakikita nyo ngayon pa lang sila, di ba? Bumagsak din yung mga yan eh. Pero alam nyo ha, if you're going to be looking at the technical side, most of these companies that I've mentioned have already shown have already shown reversals technically. Nag-reverse na sila technically. So it now is a good, these are now good potential stocks for pushing the future. Nakapag, ano na sila eh, nakapag-break na sila nung downward channels nila. Okay. Alam nyo itong cycle na to, it doesn't even have to make sense. It doesn't even have to be logically or rationally explained. People go through this cycle from optimism to optimism, goes to a euphoria, goes down to a capitulation. And we've seen that happen over time. Now, what is going to be relevant? What's relevant is how you can manage yourself and how you can manage your clients and prospects go through this cycle. And they will thank you 
if you're able to help them go through this. So, ang answer ko talaga dun sa overall question is this. How do you manage? I stick to my track. I stick to my program. If there is an opportunity to become a bit tactical, I will do it. I will look at the heat map. I will see what, are gonna, what businesses are going to do well. Yung mga businesses na yun, yun ang medyo tatayaan ko. But on top of that, I have to be conscious of the psychology that happens. And when the psychology is fully understood, then you can go against it profitably as we have done over the years.